Well, that guy's flying across the sky. Best of luck to him on all that flying. Awkward, 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 awkward. Gas, gas, gas. Artillery. Hey folks, Dave the Not-So-Evil Evil Viking 13 here, and today I'm bringing you guys some bolt-action rifle gameplay from the early origin access for Battlefield 1. One of my hopes and dreams coming out of the alpha and beta for Battlefield 1 were that bolt-action rifles would actually be a viable option in the run-and-gun gameplay for Battlefield 1. I'm not talking about the snipers, I'm talking about all of these classic infantry rifles that were the actual frontline weapons during World War 1. I know that DICE is taking a more stylized look at Battlefield 1, but I love these old bolt-action rifles, and I really wanted them to actually play an important part in the multiplayer, and I am happy to say, they can and they do. I spent a little bit of time, when I first started the Early Access Trial, with the special Lawrence of Arabia Lee Enfield Rifle. Despite the fancy engraving on the side, it has just standard iron sights, and a nice 10 round internal magazine. Once I fixed a couple of issues with some input lag in my game, and I'll put some details in the description for how I fixed that, I really started to dial in my mouse sensitivity, and now these old bolt action war horses feel fantastic in multiplayer matches even with the iron sights, which again, is my preference for these old style rifles. My goal though, for my first 10 hours in Battlefield 1 during my origin access trial, was to unlock the Gewehr 95. This straight pull bolt action rifle has quickly become one of my favorites after using it in the beta, and I actually bought one in real life last month, and it's a fun little rifle even in my shorter carbine length that I own. So if you guys would like to learn more about that rifle and its real world history and see how it performs in real life, click the link on the screen right now or in the description to go check out the real life version. But I am happy to say that my experiences during the beta were not incorrect. The Gewehr 95 in the full release of Battlefield 1 is a fantastic rifle, and with a bayonet on the end, if you miss a couple of shots, like I tend to do, you always have the option for that last desperate bayonet charge. It only holds 5 rounds, so you have to make your shots count, but if you're fighting with your squad, the hard hitting bolt action even with iron sights, makes you an important part of the squad where you can really reach out and take out a machine gun nest or another enemy sniper even with a scope at distance and just get that extra damage for your team as you're charging forward. And if nothing else, my immersion requires at least some partial use of some bolt action rifles in a World War 1 game, even a stylized one like we have here in Battlefield 1. For now though, I'm going to roll some more clips of some bolt action action here in Battlefield 1. Hope you guys enjoy, and I might see you guys out there on the battlefield.
Joel, are you kidding me? On the what? M95, the clip falls out after the fourth round correctly. Oh, that's awesome. Instead of the fifth? That's... that's impressive. Whoa! Whoa, who shot him? We have taken objective dust. Lost objective Charlie. Objective lost. They're dominating. We have lost objective apples. We have lost objective Duff. You'll be spotted in any minute. Watch him! We have taken objective butter. Objective Charlie. We are losing Objective Charlie. Objective Edward. We took the objective. What's the action plan, Sharky?
excited! That son of a bitch is an enemy medic! We have taken objective apples. We have lost objective duff. We've lost the 